Hello, welcome back to the Power Bank. And once again, this is Teacher Jesse. At ngayon naman ay ibang topic na naman ang ating uh, tatalakayin. At ito ay ang how to find the prime factors of a number. Or tinatawag nating prime factorization. Okay, so sana ay may matutunan naman kayo. At na bago or kung hindi man bago ay ma-refresh ang kaalaman ninyo tungkol sa prime factorization. Okay. Uh, nung nakaraang video ay na-discuss ko na yung mga kaibahan ng prime and composite numbers at kung paano alamin kung ito ba ay prime or composite numbers. So, pwede nyo tingnan sa mga videos ko. Nandoon makikita ang title nun ay What are or how can we identify the prime and composite numbers? Okay. This time, we'll have a drill first. So, sa nakasanayan na natin, meron tayong drill para pampabilis ng ating utak. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng konting segundo lang Tapos, pwede nyo i-pause kung hindi nyo kayang mabilisan So, pwede nyo i-pause uh, bago ko i-reveal ang answer Let's start with uh, Fill in the blank with the correct multiple of the given number 4A12 blank 20 and blank Okay, so the correct answers 16 and 24 Next 6 12 blank, 24, 30, and blank. Okay, the correct answers, 18 and 36. Next, 5 blank, 15, 20, blank, and 30. Okay, very easy, 20 and 25. Next, 9, 18, blank, 36, and blank. Okay, we have 27 and we have 45. Number 5, 7, 14, 21, blank, and blank. Okay, so 28 and 35. So these are the multiples of a number. Next is fill in each blank with the correct factor of the given number. Number 1, 5 times blank equals 30. Okay, the answer is 6. Blank times 9 equals 36. Okay, it is 4. 8 times blank equals 24. Of course, it's 3. Number 4, blank times 7 equals 49. 7. Number 5, 2 times blank equals 70. Okay, 35. And blank times 10 equals 120. The correct answer is 12. Okay, did you get all the correct answers? Okay. Let's proceed with our gearing up activity. This is our uh, this is, or the given uh, problem. Express the numeral 100 as a product of prime factors. Okay, so in our previous na lesson, meron tayo mga factor, uh, factoring or mga factors ng numbers. Like for example, 100. This time, express daw as a product of prime factors kasi may mga factors ng 100. 10 times 10, 5 times 20, 25 times 4, or 1 times 100, 2 times 50. So napakaraming factors niyan. Pero ang uh, question dito or ang task dito is to express this as a product. So, kumbaga, parang ganyan, yung uh, 1 times one times 100, yung ganyan. Kaya lang, dapat prime factors. Kasi pag 1 times 100, 1 is not a, neither prime nor composite. Tsaka kung sabihin natin 10 times 10, 10 is not a prime. So, hindi pwede. Kung 2 times 50 naman, 2 is a prime, pero ang 50 naman ay hindi. So, hindi pwede. Kung 25 times 4, ganun din. Puro composite numbers. So, paano natin gagawin to? Okay, dyan na papasok ngayon ang tinatawag nating prime factorization. Ang prime factorization is a way of expressing a number using, uh, ex expressing a number as a product of prime factors. Okay, paano natin gagawin yan? Meron tayong hint. You need to remember the most common prime factors from least to greatest. Ano yung mga least common or most common prime factors? We have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, and so on. Doon nga sa sieve of eratosthenes na ginamit natin, two, na mark natin ang mga multiples ng 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11 lang. Na-identify na natin ang mga prime numbers from 1 to 100. Okay, so ganun din. Ito yung mga clue natin or ito yung mga tandaan natin. Dapat ang mga factors ay ganito lang. Tapos, ang product niya is 100. Like for example, 2 times 3 equals 6 times 5 is 30. So, dapat 100 ang target natin. So, paano yan gagawin? 
Okay, we have this solution. Okay, we can make use of the following methods to find the prime factors of a number. So we have the first one is the factor 3 and the second one ay ang decomposition method or tinatawag nating continuous division. So continuous, big sabihin patuloy or continue ang pag-divide. The process of finding the prime factors of a number is called the prime factorization. Yun yung sinabi ko kanina. Okay, so example, uh, solution number one. For example, nung given natin yung 100. So, using the factor 3, ganito ang mangyayari. Hahanap ka ng factors ng 100. Pwedeng composite numbers muna. So, like for example, 10 times 10. Tapos, lalagyan natin ng 3. Parang 3 diagram. Yan. Tapos, 10 times 10 is 100. Etong mga factors na to, since composite pa to, so gagawin natin, hanapan natin paraan na magkaroon ng factors rin na prime. Like for example, 10. Ano yung mga... Factors ng 10 na nandirito. For example, 2 times 5 or 5 times 2. Pwede. Tsaka dito rin, 5 times 2. At kapag na-reach na natin ang part na wala ng lahat ng pinakababa ay puro na mga prime numbers, that's the time that we can already express the uh, 100 as the product of the prime numbers. So, yung apat na yan. Yung pinakadulo ng 3 diagram or ng factor 3. So, gagawin natin, isulat lang natin, 5 times 2 times 5 times 2. Or, mas maganda kung ascending order tayo. Magsimula tayo sa pinakamaliit. We have 2 top times 2, ayan din, times 5, ayan, and times 5. Or, pwede rin natin isulat na using the exponential, kasi dalawang 2 siyan, so isulat natin 2 raised to the power of 2, or 2 squared, times dalawang 5 siyan, so times 5 squared. Check nga natin kung tama ba. So, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. At tama ba? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. And then, 20 times 5 is 100. Tama nga, 100. Therefore, the answer is this one. Okay? So, you see, lahat ng factors ay mga prime numbers na. We have also another method, ang decomposition method. Ay, by the way, pag may tanong kayo, paano kung ginamit dito ay... 2 times 50. Pwede pa rin. Kung 2 times 50, yung 2, prime na. Tapos 50, 5 times uh, 50 is 5 times 10. Tapos diretso na naman yung 10, 5 times 2. Ganun pa rin. Ganun pa rin ang resulta sa baba. Prime pa rin ang resulta niyan. Okay? Kahit anong pang mga factors mo dito, as long as tama yung binigay mo ng mga factors. Okay, next is the composition method or continuous division. So, una, sulat mong 100. Tapos, Gawa tayo ng inverted na parang baligtad na division sign. Tapos pili ka dito sa mga prime numbers na to. Is it divisible by 2? Di ba? May check tayo. Even number yan. So, divisible by 2. So, 2 ka agad tayo mag-start. Okay? So, 100 divided by 2. Kalahati ng 100 is 50. Next, is it divisible by ito? Prime numbers. Siyempre, mag-start pa rin tayo sa pinakamaliit. Is it divisible by 2? Pwede. So, pwede yan sa 2. Kalahati ng 50 is 25. Next, 25, is it divisible by 2? Hindi, kasi add number yan. Is it divisible by 3? 2 plus 5 is 7. It is not a multiple of 3. So, hindi siya divisible by 3. How about by 5? Siyempre, pwede yan. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 5. So, divide by 5. Tapos, ang result is 5. Next is, yung 5 na yan. Siyempre, prime number yan. I-divide rin natin yan ng 5. Hanggang sa naging 1 na dito. And ito na yung answer natin. You see, parehas lang. 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 pa rin or 2 squared times 5 squared. Magkaiba ang process pero parehas ang result. So, it's up to you kung alin sa inyo ang mas mabilis or mas maganda or mas hiyang kayo. Ito bang uh, factor 3, yung kanina? Ito ba? Or mas madali para sa inyo ang decomposition method? It's up to you to choose. Okay? So... This one, another example. Perform the prime factorization of 75 using the factor 3. Actually, pwede yung i-post ang video, tapos gawin nyo, tapos compare natin kung ano yung answers. Okay? Sige. So, reveal ko na. We have 75. Factor 3 ang nakasulat dito. Sundin natin. So, pwede kayong pumili. Pwede 5 times 15. Pwede ring 25 times 3. Ayan. Next. Since this is not prime, composite pa to, so factor out natin yan, pwedeng 5 times 5. 
Tapos prime na yan lahat ng na, nasa dulo. Ayan na. So, ayan ang answer natin. It is, unahin lang natin ang pinakamaliit. 3 times 5 times 5 or 3 times 5 squared. Kasi dalawa yung 5s na yan. So, check natin kung tama ba. 5 times 5, 25 times 3, 75. Kahit baligta rin pa natin yan. 3 times 5, 15. 15 times 5 is 75. Prime factorization, uh, factor 3 method. Okay. Next. Perform the prime factorization of 48 using the decomposition method or continuous division. Okay, you can pause the video again para makapractice kayo para maging interactive tong video na to. Okay? Start. Okay, so I reveal ko na ang answer. So 48, hanap tayo sa 2, 3, 5, 7. So syempre sa 2, pwede. Kalahati ng 48 is 24. Pwede pa rin sa 2. So, gamitin natin ang 2. Kalahati ng 24 is 12. Pwede pa rin sa 2 yan. So, kalahati ng 12 is 6. Tapos, ang kalahati ng 6 is 3. Tapos, hindi na pwede sa 2. Sa 3 na. Ayan. Tapos, 1. Stop na tayo. So, ito yung answer. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Or, 2 times 2 times 2. Apat na 2. 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3 is equal to 48. Okay? Okay, we are now in the last part. We have the gaining mastery. It's your turn. Can you give the prime factors of the following? Okay, or the, do the prime factorization. I will give you a few seconds or you can pause the video if you need more time. Okay, get ready. Let's start. Perform the prime factorization of 45 using the factor 3. Go. Okay, so I will reveal now the answer. Ayan, 45, factor 3. So, pwedeng 9 times 5. Okay, pwedeng 15 times 3. Okay, so 9 is 3 times 3. And then, prime factors na yan lahat. So, 3 times 3 times 5. Or, 3 squared times 5. Tama bang answer nyo? Okay, next. Perform the prime factorization of 66 using the decomposition method. Okay. Ay, sorry. The composition method, start. Okay, so reveal ko na ang answer. 66. Pwedeng 2 ang gamitin. Kalahati is 33. Tapos next is 33. Pwedeng 3. And then 11. And then since prime na yan, so 11, just 1. So 2 times 3 times 11. Therefore, the answer is 2 times 3 times 11. Did you get the correct answer? Okay, good. Okay, and gaining mastery number 3. Perform the prime factorization of 30 using the factor 3. Start. Okay, we'll reveal the answer now. 30, pwedeng 10 times 3. Pwede rin 15 times 2. And then 10 is 5 times 2. So 5 times or 2 times times 3 times 5 in ascending order. Pwede rin magkabaligtad-baligtad pero usually pinapractice natin is ascending order para hindi masyadong magulo. Yan. Okay. Did you get the correct answer? Okay. So we are now down to the last number. We have number 4. Perform the prime factorization of 70 using the decomposition method. Start. Okay. We'll now reveal the answer. 70. Pwede sa 2. Kalahati ng 70 is 35. Tapos 35, hindi pwede sa 2. Hindi rin pwede sa 3 kasi 3 plus 5 is 8. 3, 6, 9. Hindi pwede. So, pwedeng 5 and 7. Ayan. Tapos 7, pwede rin sa 7. Divided by 1. I divided by 7 is 1. So, prime numbers na yan lahat. So, the answer is 2 times 5 times 7. Okay. So... Great job! I hope that you have learned something new today. Uh, that's all for our video for today about prime factorization. Sana ay may natutunan kayo. Please like and share this video para makatulong rin sa iba ngayong pandemic. Tsaka self-learning ang, ang modality natin ng learning. And iiwan ko na naman to, tong quote na to. In math, it is not about how much you know. Rather, it is what you do when you do not know. Napakagusto ko tong quote na to kasi... Hindi naman talaga paramihan ng alam sa math. Okay? Ang kailangan sa math is marunong kang numiskarte kung 
anong gagawin mo kung hindi mo na alam yung mga concepts niyon, mga lessons niyon. So, makatutulong rin sa inyo ang kagaya nito, panunod ng mga videos or group sharing or group study or hindi kasi pwede ang group study ngayon. So, ang pinaka mainam talaga ngayon is ang aside from the modules is using the supplemental materials like instructional videos. Napakaraming videos sa YouTube na pwede nyong panoorin. Okay, once again, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.